Now here, to gain a little better understanding of how capillary reaction works, here's an example. We have a, uh, a little dish with some water in it. We put into that dish a very small thin tube with an inner radius of 0.5 millimeters, so a diameter of one millimeter. Um, if the temperature, let's say, is uh, 20 degrees centigrade, in such a way that the coefficient of surface tension is 72.8 dynes per centimeter, how high will the water rise in the tube? And just for our convenience, this is the equation that we derived in the previous uh, video. So let's go ahead and plug everything in, and we'll keep everything in CGS units. So this is equal to two times the coefficient of surface tension, which is 72.8 dynes per centimeter times the cosine of the contact angle. Now in this case, we can assume that the contact angle theta is equal to zero degrees because that's what it is between water and glass. So it would be the cosine of zero degrees all divided by the density of water, which is one gram per cubic centimeter uh, times G, which is 980 centimeters per uh, second squared. And then finally the radius Converted to centimeters is 0.05 centimeters. So if you use CGS units, make sure you convert everything to grams and cent centimeters. All right. Of course, we know that this is equal to 1. So we have a 2 times 72.8 uh, divided by 980 and divided by 0 0.05. And let's see that. Wow, that's... Uh, the height is 2.97 centimeters, so that's about equal to three centimeters, which is quite a bit, that's over an inch. So water will actually pull up into the tube due to the um, surface tension action between the water and the uh, glass up to a height of almost three centimeters. So that's quite impressive, and that's how you do a problem like that.